In this video, we're going to cover how to create variants for your components, whether it's a button or a slider or whatever that might be. We're going to cover how to create those here. So first thing first, let's see how to create a component. And we're going to start with a button. And we can see here we can change either to this one or either to this one. Actually, this one is not good, quite good here. So the white one is, let me see, there's a problem. What is the problem? Oh, yeah, so this is a great way to start this video with a mistake because I understand why this is not working. Basically, here we have a gradient for the main component, so the first variant, basically. And because we have a nothing here, that's why it's not working. So if we switch back to here is not going to work. So the way to fix this is to just give it white and then this one white as well. So basically you cannot have a variant with from a gradient to a steel color. If it's a color, go into a variant color. If it's a gradient, you go to a gradient variant as well. And here now it's working perfectly. All right, so let's start from scratch. I'm going to add a black background and then I'm gonna click on T on the keyboard to have the text label. And then I'm gonna call this, this is my button. I'm just gonna shift it to this. I'm gonna capitalize it, paragraph, transform, uppercase. And then I'm gonna give it Small spacing here. 16 is good. So now we're going to add a stack to it. And then I'm going to add small gradient. So black and gray, grayish black. And then we're going to add paddings. So let's start with 20 and then reduce this to 12. 12 and then this let's say 35 by 35 and then yeah you know what this one 28 28 and then we're going to add a radius of 8 and then we're going to add shadows the shadow is going to be white and then we're going to add a y axis of two, eight spread one. This is what we have for now. And then just gonna put this perhaps to 15. All right, now we have our first button. So now we're gonna do is call this button here and then right click, create component call it button, then we can name variant one to main button or just with the color. So that will be black. Then when we zoom in here and we click on it, you can see here that we have those that appears here. Click on this one variant, and then you have variant two. You can call it, let's say white, right? And then when we change this to white, small white gray and so this one will be black now so now if we go back we have black and white all right if we zoom in nothing fancy and then we have a third variant now that will be the outline 
so for this one what we're gonna do is just do this like this this like this and then we're gonna add a border so the border is gonna be grayish like this and for this we're going to do i'm gonna keep it that i'm just gonna reduce this A little bit more all right so now we have to change this as well back to white then now we have our third variant which is this and you'll tell me like oh why do i need variant you need variant if you want to add your buttons throughout your page and then change from one button to the other Another option as to why you should have variant is basically for, for example, best use cases example here is an FEQ. If I add an FEQ, let me actually find that here. Page section, I have a section FEQ, okay. So we have the FEQ and then I'm just gonna add the layout here. So we can have, we see my button and the FAQ. I'm gonna do that like this. I'm just gonna add here that, and then now we're gonna change it to black, right? So now we have this like this. So this is a component, all right? We can do a link and replace all. And now we have another component inside of it, which is the row. And you can call it like question answer. Then if I click on it and link and replace all again, we have the first variant, which is the primary, which is closed, okay? Then the second one is open, which is a variant of the first one. And we need to use both. When we click on one, it opens the second variant and vice versa. So another use case for uh, component variants. Another one is for your navigation bar so basically this is the first navigation then if we move on we have the second navigation which is the mobile one and if we click on it it opens this and basically what it looks like on the back end is this is the primary desktop second variation is mobile closed third variation is mobile opened and this is how you utilize components and variants you can use the link in the description if you want to download this in here and follow along uh, basically the tutorial is over but you can watch the video again and see what i did just use the link in the description and i'll see you on the next video